everybody. Uh, I'm going to explain today briefly uh, Thevenin's theorem. It's a very useful theorem in electric circuits. Assume that you have a system and assume it's a linear system and has two terminals and you want to attach load and this load has a variable resistance RL and we wish to calculate the current through this load and the voltage it's not wise just to connect your load to the network you don't know anything about it so you got first to estimate how much current can flow in the resistance so if it's possible to represent this system or this circuit by equivalent voltage source and equivalent resistance it will be easy to calculate the current in the load resistance even if it's variable Thevenin found the method to represent this network by this equivalent voltage source and that's why we call it V Thevenin or equivalent voltage source and the equivalent R Thevenin so if this circuit can be represented in this way it will be easy to uh, calculate the current and the voltage in the load resistance the first step how to find the equivalent voltage and how to find the equivalent resistance of this network let's take an American example there is a circuit has 4 ohm, 1 ohm, voltage source equal to 32 voltage, resistance equal to 12 voltage at uh, 12 ohm, sorry, and a current source equal to N. And that's the terminal of the circuit AB and we are going to connect a variable resistance equal to RL so we need to find the current and the voltage across the load at different values of the load resistance it changed from 6 ohm up to 36 ohm so it will be easy if we can find an equivalent dividend for this circuit the first step how to find the voltage the equivalent voltage source we sketch the circuit without connecting the load so we have to redo it again and the load is disconnected then try to find the voltage between the terminals A and B VAB this voltage will be equivalent to the voltage source V7 so we can say that V7 is equal to the voltage between AB when it's open circuit what does it mean open circuit? no load is connected in this terminal to solve this circuit there are many methods but we'll try to find the easiest way the easiest way you can find that this voltage source is connected in series to the 4 ohm so we can use source transformation this voltage source can be transformed into current source by dividing the value of the voltage by the resistance in series 32 divided by 4 you will have 8m and the resistance should be connected in parallel when you make this transformation the same value for O. complete the circuit you have the 12 ohm in parallel you got current source 2 m and you have the resistance 1 ohm 
and that's the terminal AB where we want to find the voltage AB. If we continue, we can make more simplification. The first thing, 2M and 8M going on the same node. This consider B1 node because there are no elements between each two nodes, so we can collect them in one node. If you have 8M inside, 2M inside, you can just represent it by one current source has 10M. You just add it. Also, we have two resistance connected in parallel. So find the equivalent. The equivalent of this resistance multiply 4 times 12. Let's do it here. 4 times 12 divided by the sum, which is equal 4 times 12 divided by 16. By 4 is 1, by 4 is 4, by 4 is equal 3. It will be equal to 3 ohm. So we have 3 ohm here. And then you have a resistance 1 ohm and the voltage across AB. The current 10 M will flow in this circuit and nothing coming out because it's open circuit. Current does not pass in open circuit. So the current here is 0 M. So if you can find the voltage across 3 ohm, it will be equal or the VEB would be equal to the voltage across 3 ohm. Since 10M flow in the circuit alone, you can find the voltage across 3 ohm by multiplying 3 ohm times the 10M. So the voltage across 3 ohm is equal 3 ohm times 10M will be equal 30 voltage. So you have voltage here 30 across 3 ohm and there is no drop voltage across 1 ohm because no current. So the voltage between A and B is equal to the voltage across 3 ohm. So VEB will be equal to 30 voltage. And that will be our thevenin voltage. V thevenin will be equal 3 voltage. We are done with the first step. Let's go for the second step. Second step is to calculate The resistance are thevenin. To do that, we got to sketch the circuit again. For ohm, the original circuit, not the equivalent. Thirty-two voltage. Twelve ohm. Current source. One ohm and the resistance to find the equivalent resistance at this terminal, you got to remove the load first. That's the first step, and try to find the equivalent resistance here between A and B. To do that, we have to kill all sources. That's the first source, the current source. The current source should be equal to zero. Current equal to zero, it means open circuit. Open circuit, it means the wire is removed. So you remove the current source, open circuit. To kill the voltage source, you have to make the voltage equal to zero. The voltage equal to zero, it means the voltage at this point equal to at this point, and that will be equivalent to having a wire instead of the voltage source. So all what is supposed to do, remove the voltage source and just replace it by a wire. That's the short circuit. Now we have the circuit that it helps you to find the equivalent resistance. If we assume current going in this direction, at this node, the current will split into two. It means that this branch in parallel in this branch. So 4 ohm is in parallel with 12. So R7, first you find the equivalent of the parallel resistance, 4 times 12 over 16. 
that will be equal to 3 ohm. Now we replace the combination of these two resistance by one resistance equal to 3 ohm. And you have another one, 1 ohm. Therefore, the resistance from AB, it looks like 3 ohm is connected in series with 1 ohm. So we can write R thefinite is equal to 3 ohm plus 1 ohm is equal to 4 ohm. Now you have V thefinite and R thefinite. V thefinite we found that it's equal to 30 voltage. That's the 30 voltage. And R thefinite is equal to 4 ohm. Now we can connect the load at AB again. Accordingly, you can find the current in the load. The current in the load will be equal to V7 divided by R7 plus RL because RL is connected in series to R7. So this formula, it will help you to find IL and it doesn't matter the value of RL, you change it. Let's, for example, say that RL is equal 6 ohm. IL will be equal to V7, 30 voltage, divided by R7, which is 4, plus 6 ohm. That will be equal 3 over 10, equal 3 amp. After we found the current, if we want to find the voltage across the load, it's an easy task. You just multiply the value of RL by the current IL. RL is equal 6 ohm. Time the current, we found 3 amp, so the voltage should be equal 8 voltage. And we are done. Now let's go to one more application that Thevenin's theorem is useful. We can calculate the maximum power. If we have the equivalent circuit of any system, it's equal to V thevenin, and you have R thevenin, and we connect variable resistance RL, that's the load between the terminals A and B. The question is, when can we deliver the maximum power to the load? We did an experiment and we change the load resistance from zero to infinity and we calculated the, the, the power across the load found when the resistance was equal to zero, the power was zero. And every time we increase the resistance, the power is increasing till it reach this value. When RL is equal R thefinin, or equal the source resistance, we reach the maximum. And if we increase the resistance more than R thefinin, we find that the power is decreasing again. So the maximum power P L is equal maximum F R L is equal R thefinin. Now we are going to calculate the maximum power, the corresponding maximum power. We look to the circuit here. How to find the maximum power? First you calculate the I L the corresponding maximum power. Since maximum power occurs when RL is equal to R thevenin, IL, the load current is equal V thevenin, as we explained in the previous slide, divided by R thevenin plus RL. But maximum power happens when RL is equal R thevenin. So IL, the corresponding to the maximum power, is equal V thevenin divided by R thevenin plus R thevenin. 
it means one half V thevenin divided by R thevenin. That's I L, the load current. To find the maximum power, corresponding maximum power delivered to the load, it will be equal R L times I L square. But R L is equal R thevenin. And I L already found it in this expression will be equal half V thevenin divided by R thevenin all square. That's R thevenin. Half is square B quarter. V thevenin square divided by R thevenin square. R thevenin cancel that. So the answer is the power maximum delivered to the load will be equal for V thevenin square divided by R thevenin. Let's apply that to the example we just solved. That's our example. Theory voltage, the B thevenin and R thevenin is equal to 4 and RL is variable, so we need to find the maximum power. In this example, we'll have maximum power equal to 1 quarter and V thevenin was equal to 3, 30, will be 30 squared, divided by R thevenin, which is equal to 4 ohm will be 900 divided by 16 watt and that would be the application of the film to find the maximum power there is another theorem it's called Norton Norton is an another side is like a coin the another side of the coin for theorem and theorem Norton theorem said that if you have a network and you are going to connect your load, you can represent this network by equivalent current source, call it I Norton, in parallel with R Norton, and that's the terminals of the network or the system then you can connect your load <coughs> and you calculate the current of course here the current would be following current divider or current division law, law. so I load would be equal to the, the input current which is equal I n times the opposite resistance R n divided by Rn plus Rl. Very similar to Thevenin theorem. You can find In using whatever results you got from Thevenin equivalent. In the previous example, we found out that V Thevenin is equal to 30 voltage and R Thevenin is equal to. For ohm, you can find the equivalent Norton using this result. Rn is equal R thevenin all the time, same resistance, so it will be equal for ohm. I Norton is like you are transforming the voltage source to current source. So you divided the voltage by the resistance, that would be equal 30 divided by 4 which is equal to 7.5N. So equivalent circuit can be sketched like that. IN, which is equal to 7.5M in parallel with 4 ohm. And that's the terminal. AB, connect the load RL. Following this rule, for Norton, you will have the load current is equal to the total current, 7.5M. You want this one. So you multiply by the opposite resistance, which is equal 4 ohm divided by the sum, 4 ohm, and we assume that this equals 6 ohm.
to equal 7.5 times 4 over 10. That would be equal to 3m. And then you can calculate the voltage. You can calculate IN without theorem if the question is to find the equivalent Norton without asking about Thevenin. How will do that? Let me sketch the original circuit. We started with this example for ohm. 32 voltage. 12 ohm. 2 m current source. 1 ohm. And that's the term of AB. To find equivalent Norton without going through Thevenin, make short circuit instead of open circuit. And the current I short circuit you calculate would be equal to IM. Let's simplify the circuit. We'll do the same thing. Transform the voltage source into current source as we did the first step. 32 divided by 4 is equal 8M. In parallel with 12 ohm, 2 m, 1 ohm, and short circuit. Again, 2 m and 8 m in the node, you can make it 1 equal to 10 m. And then you have parallel resistance which is equal to 4 ohm should be in parallel here right forgot that so you have 4 and you have 12 and you have 1 and the short circuit 12 and 4 parallel with it that before would be equal to 3 ohm so you have 3 ohm and you have 1 ohm and short circuit and 10 m 10 m is going in this direction will split into two currents you are interested in i short circuit <coughs> i short circuit is equal to total current 10 m times the opposite resistance divided by the sum 3 and 1 is equal 4 again you will get point 75 no I'm sorry by 2 is 2 is fine 15 over 2 is equal 7.5 m that's I show circuit which is I n it's the same quantity that we got when we did the equivalent Norton and then you can continue the same thing I hope it was useful and good luck